to show you how to build a small cooking fire. To begin, here is our collection of wood, little six. size, these big sticks are important because they will form the furnace of our cooking fire. You want to see that they're level with each other and facing you, and these will go on later. You'll also want a small bundle of dried leaves, or pine needles, if you will. These are dried ferns, as tinder. That will go in first. We'll then add some of our tiny twigs, just like so. Maybe like this instead. And where's my light? We'll uh, let her rip. Get under there. Once you get some twigs burning. And keep adding to that burning pile so that you keep the flame alive. That's the story of this fire. The story of every fire. The story of fire from the beginning of mankind. Keep the fire alive. Once your little twigs, your tiny twigs start to burn, your little twigs will go on sort of like less than pencil sized. I'm blowing on the fire to give them more oxygen. Catch those little twigs. Let that burn down. Then you'll add some bigger twigs. These are like more than pencil sized but skinnier than your thumb. Keep stoking those bigger than pencil size sticks until they're kind of until they're real crumbly. Be wary not to let your flame go outside of its, its designated furnace. We don't want to be getting old smoky on a case. You can add more tiny twigs to keep the, keep the fire alive, right? That's what it's all about. Then just stoke it. Just stoke it away. Now, once your main twigs are more burnt than they are not burnt, you can install the second part of your furnace, which your vessel, whatever you happen to be cooking in, will rest on, like so. And with a little testing, we can rest the pot on top there. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me, what do you think? Right, you're not here. Once your vessel is on top, stoke. And here you can see we have a little furnace. Now, if your support beams of the vessel start to seem like they're burning, you can always switch them out. 
but uh, hopefully your food will be hot before that happens. Now, fire is always changing shape, so be wary and always keep an eye on where your handle is in case you need to grab it off off fire. If it seems like it's tilted. Mine seems to be doing all right. Check this awesome stoking. Yeah. White hot.